In this tutorial, we will look at two methods for translating and transcribing rhythm. These methods are increasingly common and familiar to drummers around the world. Their utility is derived from the fact that by following one simple rule, we are guaranteed an accurate translation of the rhythm from the page to our bodies and our instruments. The rule is this. When you read the rhythm, be sure to keep an even, steady pulse. We begin with the rhythm maksum and the tub system, time unit box system, starting with an even pulse. We're then going to add our voice as we point. Doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom, ka. When you've mastered the rhythm at a slow tempo, the next step is to speed up and then transfer the rhythm from the page through your voice to your body and the drum. Doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom, ka. And then bring it from your voice to your hands. Doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka. Once you've internalized the rhythm, drawn it from the page into your body, the last step is bringing it to the drum by combining the drum with your voice. Doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom, ka. The next system that we'll be looking at is the SWAT system, or standard width alphanumeric text. This system takes advantage of modern computing. What it does is it substitutes the boxes and the empty spaces for standard width text. The reason we like this is it's so much easier to write on a computer. Boxes are difficult to generate and take up lots of space. Otherwise, the systems are identical. When reading SWAT, you treat each group of characters together as one point in time. All of the points are evenly spaced and we exchange a rest for a period. Be sure to point to the periods as well as the characters when you're reading SWOT notation. Otherwise, it's just the same as working with tubs. Just like tubs, we're going to begin by getting a pulse. Doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, ka, doom. 